friends and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you the best application for your tablets, for your Windows tablets, to see, read and annotate PDF files. Now I've been using a lot of different tools uh, and uh, the best application I found for free is called Zodo Docs. X O D O Docs. And it's right here. I'm going to open it. You can download it from the Microsoft uh, App Store and it's completely free. So after you have installed it, I have pinned it to the start of Windows 8. I'm going to open it and uh, this is a document open but normally it, you, it will display a, a series of files like this. And you can browse your, your, your hard drive by just clicking on browse. And also this shows you the recent documents that you are uh, looking at. This is no different from other applications but what Sodo does different is uh, in its way that uh, allows you to annotate PDFs. So for example there are two kinds of PDFs that normally you will use. One kind will have text that you can actually select and those normally comes from Word documents that are transformed into PDF files and then there are scans uh, that uh, people do from books uh, that are really pictures in PDF format. So Xodo handle both files perfectly. For example, let's open one of those where the text can be ed edited. So I'm just going to click on this one and you see that I can just zoom in and out and it's very responsive, it's very smooth and for example if I need to make annotations here I can just slide from the top to the bottom to bring this menu and click on the edit and I have this bar here. This bar allows me to add uh, underline text, um, highlight text and do really almost anything and even include my own notes. So for example if I want to underline this first line I will just zoom it and then click on the underline line. Now because this PDF file has text that it's editable, it's easy to just go ahead and select the text that you want to underline. You see this, the application recognizes that those are words and it's very easy for you to um, highlight it. I just highlighted that but if I wanted to remove that highlighting I can just select it and I have a menu here and an option to delete it. So I just delete it and it's gone. And uh, now this gets automatically saved into the PDF file when I exit the application. So you don't have to really hit on the save uh, button. So it's really easy to use. Another thing that I found extremely useful and that, that differentiates this app from others is that, for example, you want to highlight text. I'm clicking on the first option to highlight. And I'm coming here and highlighting this, right? And then I want to keep reading. I can just continue reading and scrolling without doing anything else. Other applications, when you highlight, you have to get out of that highlighting mode first by clicking or tapping on another button and then you can scroll up and down. With Sodo, you select something to do like highlighting and you can do it once and when you finish, it automatically gets out of that highlighting mode, allowing you to continue reading your document without having to turn off any options. This single feature makes Sodo the reader and annotator of my choice. It really makes it a difference when you are highlighting a lot of stuff and you need to go back and forward to, uh, to, to that button. It will really slow your uh, highlighting process down. But Soto does it greatly. Uh, so this is how it works for this kind of uh, PDF files that, can, uh, that have text that can be selected. But I'm going to show you how it's done. By the way, I want to delete this highlighting. I'm going to do this and delete and when I want to uh, exit I just click on the X and I scroll down and I click on files. When I click on files that brings me the file menu these changes are saved automatically. Something that is great. I don't need to remember that. Now if I open a file that has a scan like this one. This is a scanning of a book as you can see. So I can't really go and uh, if I click edit and I want to hi um, highlight something using the text highlighting tool, I can't do it because it's not the text that is editable. It's from a scan of a book. So for these cases, Zodo Handle is great by using this paintbrush tool. You click on the paintbrush tool, you, you see it here. Now the only thing you have to do that is not done by default is set this paintbrush to have a transparency, otherwise will obscure the text that you are highlighting. So set on that, click on the advanced tab and you see that this is 
you can lower that. That's the transparency of the line that you're going to use. So I use 40%. That's pretty good for it. And now what I can do is, for example, when I feel sorry to cancel to zoom, out, zoom in, and I go back to the paint brush, and let's say I want to highlight this, I can just put my finger on top of what I want to highlight, and that's it. Uh, it's very, very useful, again, and it handles all situations. Now, the only caveat with this is that uh, Zodo, uh, in this paintbrush option, is not like when you are highlighting text with the text option. Here, you see I'm still in that highlighting mode, so if I want to scroll down, what I'm doing actually is highlighting. So all you have to do is click on the undo, and I have to click save, and that is saved. If I want to change it, I can click it and delete it. But you see the difference between one mode and the other, and again, it's really handled all the situations well, and I highly recommend this application. Let me know what you think, and thank you for watching.